Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And for today's video, I have a collective haul. Without further ado, let's get started. First, I got this Becca Ultimate Coverage Longwear Concealer in the shade Birch. I got this at Marshalls for $5.99. This is the concealer. Also for Marshalls, I got this mm, Revolution Makeup Division Palette for $4.99. This is what the colors look like. This is a do for the subculture palette, in my opinion. Next, I got this Salon Perfect Pre Permed Push Up Push Up Lashes in the style 671. I got them at Walmart for $6.98. And yeah, that is it for today. Okay, this is the next thing i got i got this in a different day i got the rimmel eye primer this was i think for something i got it because i needed a new eye primer i'm going to buy two other eye primers so i could have a variation when i do my videos <coughs> okay so i bought a few more products and the first thing I got is a is a repurchase. I got the Kiss Lash Glue. This retails for around two two something or three something, depending where you get it. Best lash glue ever. Would recommend it. Next, I got the Maybelline Cheek Heat Blush Cream Blush in the shade Thirty Coral. This I want to say retails for around five dollars. I got I got two of the Ally Colors 3D for Mink Lashes. They seem very nice. They seem more of a natural style lash, which is one that I am willing to go for. Stay tuned because I have an auto haul. So my auto order just came in and I want to show you the things that I bought. So first, let me take them out of the box. Okay, so first up, I got this. Run a while lip sleepy mask in lavender. I wanted the lip balm, but it was all sold out, so I decided to get it. I didn't read it had lavender. I wanna, I'm still gonna test it out. I wanna see if it compares to my Bite Beauty Nighttime Therapy mask, the one that comes in a jar. So stay tuned for that. Next. I got the NYX Professional Makeup, um, like a potted, basically an eye primer. This is what it looks like. I feel like it might be a bit too deep on my skin. Like it has a plastic sleeve. This is what it looks like. Um, this is what it looks like. So actually, it looks it looks alright. I have to test it out on my eyes to see if it if it works out fine. This was on sale when I got it, around four or something. The next thing I got was this Elf 
Putty Eye Primer and Cream. It says creased and smush, smudge proof for 12 hours. This I think was five dollars. I have to say, Elf has a very sleek packaging. This frosted plastic. This is what it looks like. Mm. Yeah, I feel like this is gonna be a good eye primer. Two eye primers. I got two because I don't want to use the same eye primer over and over in every single video. I decided to have different ones so you guys can see which one works or not. If they do work or not and which one becomes a favorite. The next thing I got was this Essence Smoky Eye Brush. This, re this was around $2.99 if I'm not mistaken. It used to be a doll and something, but this is what it looks like. It's a very, like, pointed brush. Very good for packing on eyeshadow or very detailed work in the crease. My One of my favorite brushes, I have, like, six or seven with this one. Amazing. I would recommend it. The last two, the last two are Morphe products. This, um, uh, this is the I got this four piece eye brush collection. This was I think twelve dollars. That's what it looks like. I have like two Morphe eye brushes but they're very good quality so reading the back it says it has an oval brush first is the oval shadow brush this one is like a flat flat like concealer a concealer brush or well, you could cut your crease with that with it or carve your eyebrows the next one is the pro firm blending crease brush then it's the mini tapered blending brush then it's the angled liner brush this i would i would use it for eyebrow not liner it's way too thick in my opinion but it's good for twelve dollars, it's not bad. You get four four brushes for twelve. That is three dollars each brush. And Morphe brushes go from I would say from three to like ten, twelve dollars. But yeah, great purchase. The last thing I got from Ulta and from Morphe was the. 35H Hot Spot Artist Dream Palette. I got this one because it's, it was on sale. This is what the palette looks like. I mainly got it because of the blues. I am a sucker, sucker for blues. It has very cute, it has nice peaky shades, nice neutrals, and a lot of pops of color i would definitely be using it stay tuned i will be doing looks using this palette and yeah this is an overview of the palette like something else i added into this kit but okay, so i just got my add-ons from Foxy charm from Foxy charm and what i got was this element superfood acai calming hydrating juice This is this cooling hydrator packed with fruit 
waters and antioxidants rich as so you have to visibly calm the skin apply every morning to cleanse skin if any contact with eyes occurs rinse well um i got this because this is kind of like a serum and i want it one after i finish my kypris and i don't want to open it until i finish now because this has a expiration of six months so I am really dying to try it out. I want to try more LMS products. And this was $12 of BoxyCharm add-ons. I would recommend to get BoxyCharm. They're able to shop for add-ons. Add-ons is like they have makeup, skincare, lifestyle stuff. And you're able to get them at an affordable price. This was $12. And it honestly, it's the best i think you get boxy pop-up which is i think quarterly and they even they put even more brands in there so you will be able to shop from i think up to it's around 50 to 70 percent of products around 30 no around 40 to 70 percent off but yeah so you know if i'm going to do more collect the hauls, especially during this time right now. If you like this video, give it a like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.